One of the tools that we've manufactured at Atomic is the on-car valve spring removal tool for the XR6 Falcon turbo engines. Now, we made this tool because the valve springs need to be changed on these engines because the original springs aren't up to the job in terms of pressure and durability. Um, we started to get a lot of calls from people wanting to change the springs and without having to remove the head, uh, a tool would obviously be a good benefit to have. So we decided to manufacture something. Now, it's a very simple process. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes with a head on the bench. Normally, it would be done with the engine in the car. So all you have to do is you remove the cam saddles, noting which ones go where. They're not interchangeable from head to head. Then it's a simple matter of taking out the camshafts, noting again which one is the inlet and which one is the exhaust cam, and making sure they go back in the same locations. Then all you need to do is take out the rockers, which is a simple process of just lifting them straight out of the engine. And then once you've got all the rockers out, you can see the valve springs are exposed. Our tool bolts straight down on over the top of the original cam bolts and with the bolts that are provided, secure the tool to the, to the head. There's four bolts there, you can only use two if you like, and you have to be finger tight. The next step is to put some compressed air into the cylinder to hold the valves up, which is done with a, a leak down meter or a uh, compressed air supply that every workshop should have. And then it's a simple matter of using our little collar, which fits down in on top of the valve fits nicely over the top of the retainer there. And then all you do is you wind the bolt down till it contacts the top of the collar. As it pushes the retainer down, compressed air is holding the valve up. So it allows the collets to be, um, become uh, free, which you just remove with our little magnetic tool. You pull the collets out, wind the bolt back up, change the spring, wind the bolt back down again, fit the new spring and release. The reason it has four bolts is so as you can use the tool, once the tool is fitted to one cylinder, you can do all four valves on the one cylinder. So then you take the collar out, do the next valve in sequence, do this valve, then do this valve, then you take the whole tool off, move it straight onto the next cylinder and do the next cylinder. As you can see, it's a very simple and easy to use tool. And one of the main advantages of it is the fact that it's nearly impossible to lose a collet into the engine. Now I've seen many people, many professional workshops and Ford dealers who have lost collets into the engine when trying to use a fork tool or a lever or something like that to re remove the valve springs. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it saves money, you've got to have one.